Let me um, talk a little bit about this is part two of our um, <clears throat> of our template that I this is for the IMED 1316 1416 web design one part two with it. Um, I might get into a little bit more detail with this. I'm, I just have some slides, a framework that we're going to talk as a as a talking point with it as well. So uh, I need to talk to you about before the semester starts. Make sure that you're able to access the virtual desktop with it. Um, complete everything inside of your virtual desktop with it. I highly recommend you do that. Uh, most of the software are all there. Visual Code, uh, your Adobe, so Adobe. Uh, Creative Suites is in there as well. Um, the only one that I would recommend you to use, like software I'm doing right now that I'm recording the screencast, is Camtasia, which is a free license for all faculty um, that you need to for teaching. So you need to contact the Center of Excellence in Teaching uh, with as well. Uh, and then I'm going to demo for you to show you how to connect to the uh, the Cade virtual desktop, connect to the OneDrive, connect to it using the uh, visual code and the web server connection. Uh, at the time, at this time, uh, uh, of this moment in time, which is about February and March right now, we're beginning of March right now with it, uh, I'm still building the web server with uh, Dallas College IT, all right? So let me take you to the, uh, the, um, the, um, the browser with it. So in the browser, I'm just going to use your, just your traditional either Firefox or Edge with it. Uh, if you on the top here, um, the first thing you need to do is to go to the Dallas College, and I have this in um, typed up for you already. DallasCollege.edu forward slash virtual desktop, and you hit enter on this one for me. And it loads you to this particular screen. Let me zoom in on this. Um, if you can please complete everything inside of the virtual desktop with it. See where it says go to my virtual desktop? Um, you need to access this for me because um, once you've done this, um, everything will be completed in here for you. So um, let me come over here. We're going to use the creative arts uh, and design. Allow. Give it a second. It's going to ask you to prompt login a couple of times here. So, and I make this as part of the module one. Everybody needs to connect to the virtual desktop. The OneDrive um, is is the basic kind of like the first module, and they would take screenshots of what they do over here with it as well. You will have students that want to do this on their own with it. Um, everything needs to go through the virtual desktop to connect to the uh, connect to the web server. So eventually, you, you can't do this on your separate workstation with it. So this is a browser-based virtual desktop is a browser-based connection, and everything needs to go through it. So um, it doesn't matter if you have a Mac, Linux, Windows operating system. Everything is inside of a web browser. Okay. So what does that mean? You gotta have internet connection with it as well. So let me pause for a second. This takes a few seconds to load uh, with it while this is loading for a second. Let me jump back to the code, to the PowerPoint over here with it. So I wanna talk about some things here. Uh, during the semester, once the semester gets started, I wanna to talk to you about how to uh, financial uh, certification that needs to take place in, and you certify the students through eConnect webpage with it. You need to um, do your course syllabi before the semester starts with it as well. So it's a thousand points, use a point system with it. Again, this is up to you. I only share with you what works for me with it as well. So um, there is no book for this course, all right? So I, I have a resource page now. I highly recommend you keep this resource, resource page to yourself with it. Do not share this with your students or they're just gonna copy and paste the code. The intention is they have to type this as you go along in the class with it. If you show them the answers to the to to everything that you're doing, they're not going to do it. They're just going to copy and paste, copy and paste it in there with it as well. Again, uh, this course is three to four hours per week per modules with it. Two quizzes. This is my syllabi. What works for me? You are welcome to do your own syllabi with it as well. So I have two quizzes, 50 points each. Uh, times two, it's 100 points. Midterm is 100 points. Final exam is 100 points. So you add up all this. 
This is about 300 points that they are completing. All right. Um, the other one is the 600 points for the modules, uh, for discussion boards, kind of like to take an attendance for online. For most of my uh, on-campus class, I do not use discussion boards. I take attendance with it. All right. So let me check on here. So this is where everything needs to take place is inside this virtual desktop right here. This is what I'm talking about. So you have your all of your Photoshop. Uh, I have my ver my visual code right here. That's this is where it actually happened. But I want to open up the Microsoft Edge right here with it. You can use Edge, Chrome, Firefox. It doesn't really matter. But I like to use everything that's Microsoft made together with it. So it packages a lot better with it as well. So let me come over here. I like for you to open up the. Um, OneDrive, just go to OneDrive.com. This way, you and then you come over to login over here. For students, they need to use their E7, so E, whatever their seven digit is, at student.dccd.edu. For faculty like us, we have our own three by four with it as well. So I'm gonna log in here. This will this the reason why we're doing this is like this cloud storage. Everybody needs to store their stuff on here. Uh, this is my file with it, so uh, my file structure with it. So let me give you for example. I have this spring. I have my students create this file structure. Look at the way I name my course. Don't put any spaces in there as well with it. So this is all on the local drive with it as well. So again, um, they're they're gonna actually. Um, this is all done in my video. This is my classroom instructions with it. Again, up to you, up to you. You know, you, you've got your choices that you want to make with it as well. Let me just move to create this thing and move this particular file that we just created here. So clean this up a little bit. Sorry, I'm taking time to do this, but um, so after it's moved with it as well, it's kind of slow. Sorry. Um, So after this is moved, after this is moved, give it a second. It takes a second to connect to the OneDrive with as well. But this is part of my mind when I have students to learn DOS command with it. So I was like for them, uh, once they, they need to log in, take a screenshot of what they're doing with it. I was like to show them to do DOS command, uh, learning learning file structure with it, uh, with it, how to create a directory, it's up to you. This is just me, how I teach people how to create directories out of, uh, from DOS with it. Um, and, you know, showing them the dot dot directory as well. You have videos to my stuff with it. So feel free to watch, feel free to use whatever it is that you, uh, that, that, that what works for you, okay? Um, one of the things, let me also, again, the reason I maximize this is I, this this is my minimize windows right here and I'm back to my this don't minimize this top part right here or else you're going to minimize the whole desktop with it uh, this is our uh, visual code visual code you I have down here with it so this is our visual code we do everything in visual code so um, let me also demonstrate you need for this is for module 2 they would actually install what's called the live server so the live server allows them to um, and I would actually have them open up that folder that they were creating uh, on the OneDrive with it, right? This is the folder that we just created. Um, kind of like you have to define a workbench with it as well, right? Um, this folder right here. So that folder that I just showed you, this is the content of that right now, right? So um, again, uh, one of the things I, I'd like for you to 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 make sure that you're, you're doing this properly with it. Um, again, all the tool software is in here. The only software you're sitting outside of the other piece with this. So let me just access, let me minimize this. I'm gonna open up the the, um, the browser that we're in. And let me just click over here. I'm in the, again, uh, I'm gonna go to eCampus. I'm gonna go to our template with it, right? Give me a second here. I'm reaching 10 minutes here. Give me a second. So I'm up for this course, I'm going to go to templates. This is our template right now that I'm creating right now. And this is the part I want to go over is this part right here. The faculty read me. This is for your eyes only. Again, 
uh, for only uh, things that we need to do with this. Well, so let me talk to you about this part right here. Um, and I have uh, instructions. I've written all the instructions here with it. So um, again, this is during. There's a there should be a pre-class before the class um, guidelines that I recommend. So let me zoom in. I'm going to stop right here because it's 10 minutes. All right, so I'm, I'm I'm going over 10 minutes with it. I don't want to do any video more than 10 minutes. So I'm going to do this. Concludes the second part of the video. I'm going to start this uh, the third part.